Hello guys, this video shows how you can create pipes out of solids. So for example, something like this, we have an outer portion, inner portion. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, guys. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. Right, let me go ahead and create, for example, a box. All right, so we can have uh, one box right here. And let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and select this, for example, and then we'll press O for offset. And then we'll select that and we'll go ahead and do a little bit of this. We'll go ahead and kind of rotate that to the Z-axis. All right, let's make it you know, a little bit more complex like this. All right, so we've got that. And then let's say I want to go ahead and uh, ship D that. I'm just going to press G, G to move that. A little bit of R, R to rotate. And so, you know, we kind of put that somewhere else. So now we want to go ahead and click them together. So I'll go ahead and select this surface and that surface. Pressing through to go into the uh, base level. Now I'll just press L for loft. And right away, that gives me this very nice result. All right, now I can select all these and just a QQ to combine them together. All right, let's see we want to have an outer portion, inner portion. What can we do? Well, I'll go ahead and select this face and, and that face. I'll go ahead and press Alt-J to detach them. They are now separate objects. All right, we can select this object and we can use a tool here called Thicken the Sheet. And we can create the thickness that you want for this right here. Let's make it something like 5 or 10 right here. All right. There we go. At this point, we can actually go ahead and delete these. All right, this is going to be like our skin for the cable. To get the inside, here's what we do. We go ahead and go into the face level, go ahead and hold down Alt, and left click to select all of the inner portion right here. We'll go ahead and Shift D that. All right. We'll go ahead and use a tool here called patch holes, which in a flat surface, it's going to go ahead and essentially cap those holes. All right. Just like that, we now have an outer portion, inner portion. Go ahead and select this, for example, to, to exaggerate it. All right. And let's go ahead and give it some colors here. Let's go ahead and give this uh, an orange. Let's make this a very uh, kind of bright cable here. All right, let's give this a darker color. All right, so that is the inner and outer portion. And for example, to make this look cool, you could um, export this into Blender or Max or Mai, and then give this, for example, a nice transparent material, and that that's gonna make that's gonna give you a very nice result. All right, and uh, one of the cool things we can do is we can just go ahead and kind of cut away a part of this as well. So I'll press Control Space for creating a temporary construction plan. I'll go ahead and press Shift A for the line. I'll go ahead and control, hold control as I do this so that it's not gonna snap to anything. I'll go ahead and press B to activate fill it and D for the fill XL. You can also press C for the chamfer. That's now a new tool as well, is being to chamfer lines. I can now select this. Or actually, I'll select this and I'll go ahead and uh, O for offset. All right, I can now, for example, also select these and uh, Shift D that. And uh, rotate that as well. And I'll select this and press C, left click on that and that, and these as well. All right, now I can, uh, I can delete this, for example, and I can go ahead and give these a different color. I'll press Alt M to click the previous ones and give this a different color. And that gives us a very cool result as well. We can, for example, delete this, delete these. As you can see, there's lots of cool things we can do here. So definitely you can take your sci-fi designs to the next level with these nice tips. Thank you for watching and take care.